Hi, welcome to Art by Clark. I'm Mrs. Clark. This week, we are making something new. It is called origami. Origami Pikachus. This is going to be so much fun. What we need for this project is white paper or colored paper, because I really doubt you have origami paper at home. But if you do, definitely use that. Also use markers yellow, black, and red, or crayons, color pencils, whatever you got. Definitely a Sharpie, a black marker, and scissors. So I'll let you gather all the supplies, and I'll be right back at you. First, I want to give you a little history on origami, just in case you don't know much about it. Origami is Japanese. It is a Japanese word meaning folded paper, which is what we're going to be doing here. And you only need two things really for origami. Number one is square paper. Remember that shape, square. And number two, a hard surface so that we can do our difficult folds and even our simple folds. And once we have those two, we, it is, let's go. Oh no, I don't have a square. Ah, oh, what do I do? Well, this is an easy fix. This is actually eight and a half by 11 printer paper and I need it to be a square. So you're gonna see that I'm gonna take the corner and bring it up to the other side, making sure that the edge lines up. And I'm going to press down. And again, if you see here, the edge is lined up. Once you have that, you're going to see that there is a rectangle sticking out. Uh-oh, we can't have that. We need to cut that with our trusty scissors, that is. And remember how to use scissors. Thumb to the sun, finger to the ground, never cutting upside down. Feels funny, too. The scissor moves up and down, kind of like an alligator. The paper will move. And we're going to cut just right on the line. Just gonna follow that line the best we can. If you're not fully straight, that's okay. But we do want to try to get as straight as possible. We will put that to the side in case we need it. Don't need those scissors anymore. And we're going to open it up. Now Pikachu is yellow. So we need to color this paper yellow. You are welcome to use crayons, colored pencils, pastels, markers. I'm going to use markers. I'm in the mood to use them today. And we're gonna make this super fast because I really don't think you need to watch me color a paper yellow. You only need to do one side. So, I'll see you in a jiff. As you see, I now have a yellow piece of paper and it is square, so we can get started. If you see this diagonal, we're going to fold it back on that diagonal and make our square into a triangle. The trick of origami, make sure those folds are nice and pressed hard. We need to put a fold in half here, so we're going to take the tip of this triangle and have it meet the other one. Hey friend, what's going on? And we're going to press lightly this time. If you press hard, it's okay. I tend to press a little hard. Open it up and now you'll see there's a fold there. We're going to need that. That is a key, key line there. 
Yeah, so it's a triangle with a fold. Next step, we're going to work on the ears. We're going to take the bottom and roll it about an inch up. Try to get as even as we can. And press down nice and hard. Kind of looks like to me a boat sailing, sailing. Could be a hat too, you know, but it could be any of those. But for me, it's a boat. Press nice and hard. And now we have another step. Remember that line I told you to make here? Well, we're going to bring this tip, and this is actually the ear, if you do not know, and we're going to bring it up towards the middle. We want to be parallel or right on that fold, nice and straight. So if you see, it's right there. So let's press down. You're going to see we're starting to create a rhombus here. There's a sideways triangle. And now let's bring this one up and try to go right next to it. And if you see, our line here has been created nice and even. There we go. If you're off a little bit, that's okay. Remember, this is our first time doing origami. It won't be perfect till you practice, practice, practice. Oh, and just a little reminder of our elements of art. Remember, we're gonna be using lines, shapes, color, and form because it's origami. Always have to throw that in. All right. Now that you see, we have the ears and we have the head forming, but Pikachu does not have points around him. So we need to fold up the bottom here into a little mini triangle. And now let's turn it over. I gotta do that a little straighter. There we go. I am a little off today. There we go. There. Now we're going to fold in the corners. There's one. There. And Pikachu does not have a pointy head. What is with that? Let's get that nice and flat. So as you see, it kind of has the shape of a stop sign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It could be. So that would be, I think, an octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, an octagon. Hmm, go figure. All right, now that we have this cute little shape, we need to draw in the faces. So I am going to grab my Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, you can use a black marker. You can also use a crayon, especially if you colored with crayon. It may be a little tougher. And if you know anything about anime, Eyes are big, so Pikachu has big eyes. So we're gonna draw a nice big circle. You're welcome to use a crayon, uh, sorry, a pencil or a crayon. Ooh, that marker's not working. Here, let's use a real Sharpie. There we go. And then we'll put another eye right over here. And like I said, you can always use a pencil if you just want to practice first. I'm going to put a little highlight. That's big with anime as well. And then we're going to color in the eye. If you make your eyes bigger or smaller, that's okay. This is your own Pikachu. It's not going to look like mine. It's definitely going to look like yours. We're going to color in both eyes. Oh, that's looking great. We're also going to do the black of the ears, make them into kind of angled lines, and then color in the tips, because Pikachu tends to have black tips to his ears. He is electrified. And then I do have a little question for all of you. What is Pikachu? Is he a cat or a mouse? Well, let's think of that for a minute. And I'll tell you what they've told me. But, ooh, that's looking really good. Now down here, how to make the nose and the mouth. 
Well, the nose is actually a little tiny U. And then the mouth is a round W. So you come up and then do it again, or two U's. If you want to stop here, that's great. I'm going to show you how to make the mouth open, but that's how you would leave it closed. But you do just a skinny U. And then do a little rainbow shape inside it. Not hard, is that? Now we need to do cheeks. Let's get that red marker. This Pikachu has some nice red cheeks. I'll color that in. We'll do one on this side. Try to match it best I can. Look at all these circles we're doing. Doing lots of shapes. I'm gonna go back to my Sharpie and outline my cheeks. Do you have to do this? No, I just like the way it looks to have an outline. Puts more definition. There we go. Refold anything which may have come out and look at, oh, wait a minute. Oh, let's color in that little mouth. Oh, he doesn't have a yellow mouth. He's got a red mouth and a red tongue. I was getting too excited. All right. And then on the back, we always write our name. It's always important. There we go. And there you have it. You got one that has a closed mouth and one that's open. That wasn't hard, was it? Nah. So, do you believe it? We did our first origami together. And aren't they cute? Good job. And just remember, if I went too fast, you can always rewind, pause, do your folds, and then you can get caught up. Nice job, everybody. Until next time, bye.